you know, honestly, too often I hear stories when people meet or when they come to me or begin intimate relationships and I ask them for their stories and we talk about things, right? One, one of them usually had no intention of, of staying with the other person when they met them, right? You know, I mean, that wasn't even how it was supposed to go, right? But then, then, they, then, then they started to like each other. Then next thing you know, maybe, maybe someone, uh, sometimes some people get pregnant. Then they meet their parents after that. Then there's drama that ensues, right? We have to go through the necessary amount of drama for relationships to happen, right? And usually there's at least one person on one side of the family who believes there should have been a more formal courtship or engagement or some type of process that's supposed to happen. And they're vocal about it, right? Which then we cut that person off for life, right? And we never get to speak to them again. They don't even get to meet their grandkids. You know what I'm talking about, right? Because there has to be a necessary amount of drama in our situation. Right? And then, and then we wind up as a family, right? And, but we don't talk to other people and we don't do other stuff. And then we're working through all this. The couple finally, after a period of time, decides that, you know, everybody else be, you know, whatever. We're going to go ahead and get engaged. Then we're going to go ahead and get married, you know, at a later date. And we do it in a small ceremony where nobody's involved. No dowries are exchanged. No families are supported, right? And we just set out and it's me and you against the world, right? And that's how we do it, right? But and, and I don't want to say this story like it was some kind of like, you know, foreign story to me. A lot of these aspects that I'm throwing in there are very relatable to me and my relationship with my wife, right, in our current marriage, right? This is how our relationship began as well, too, right? So I'm, I'm not, I'm nobody's judge and I'm not putting that out there. I'm just telling you that when we think about being the bride of Christ, when we think about being the church in the future, that he's going to throw a wedding party for us in heaven, you know what? Maybe we could learn from the Bible how to be betrothed to the King of Kings.